Okay, here's a tutorial under Windows 10 on how to start a program automatically with Windows itself. So to start it automatically with Windows, we should add it to a startup location. Okay, we have a few options here, three options for File Explorer and one option for the Registry Editor. Okay, in older versions of Windows, you could use a startup location from here at S but now it's not there okay so in Windows 10 we should open a file explorer we know and let's use the first one shell column and startup copy that one and paste it here to the address bar of file explorer ctrl v to paste it and press enter Okay, and here's the executable that I want to start. Simply drag it with your right click of your mouse and drop it there and click on create a shortcut. Create shortcuts here. Okay, and the program was added. So if I would restart the computer, then that program would also start with Windows. Okay, let's get the next one. You could go manually to this path, which is your system drive, that is the C drive usually, your users folder, your username, app data, that's a hidden folder, and so on. Or you just copy this path, like so, and paste it here into the address bar. Okay, and press enter. And if you can see, the same location is used. Okay, and we have another startup location let's copy that one also and if I paste it here now we can see that some other icons are here so this is a different startup location it's not the same as the second and the first one okay and we could add a program to the registry also there are many locations in the registry but let's use one so let's right click the start button, go to run, type in reg edit, reg edit, and press OK. And now navigate to this location, local machine software Microsoft, local machine software Microsoft, OK, Windows, Win, Windows. Okay, current version and run. So here in Windows, type in current. Okay, current version and run. Type it in and it goes there. Okay, and here we can see some other programs which are also starting. If you don't need any of these programs, then you could disable them from the test manager also. Right click the test bar and go to test manager come here to start up and select the program now it's enabled and by click on disable now it's disabled okay I want that program so I'm going to enable it okay and you could add another location I mean a file here also let's see which one this one string okay and you could add let's say that path there slash and the exe file files name like that and ok and it's similar to the other ones and this would also start up when you start your windows ok that's it thanks for watching and bye bye